Hey, welcome back to another exciting keyboard review on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a deep dive into Yunzi's YZ87, a mid-layer keyboard in their YZ lineup of boards. At an enticing price point of just $80, we're eager to uncover whether Yunzi has made any compromises to attain this budget-friendly offering. Let's delve into the details and see if this keyboard delivers on both quality and affordability. Let's dive into the unboxing experience. The YZ87 arrives in the typical Yunzi packaging. Let's unpack what's inside. The main highlight is, of course, the YZ87 keyboard itself, as well as a couple instruction cards and some spare switches for macOS compatibility, as well as a user manual, a white USB-A to USB-C cable, a keycap and switch puller, a couple of spare switches, and finally, an acrylic block with some badge designs. More on those later in the video. The YZ87 comes in at $79.99 on yunzi.com. It features a TKL layout with 87 keys. It's got tri-mode connectivity, meaning you can connect via Bluetooth, 2.4 GHz dongle, or wired USB-C cable. It features a 5,000 mAh battery. First impressions are everything, and the YZ87 certainly makes a stunning entrance in its white variant. Featuring off-white keycaps complemented by subtle hints of gray and accent black, this keyboard is a visual delight. The combination of light tone with contrasting accents adds to the overall aesthetic appeal, making it a standout piece on any desk. While there's also a sleek black variant available, personally I find the aesthetic of this white version far more appealing. The clean and crisp design of the white theme adds an elegant touch that resonates with my taste. The build quality of the board leans towards the lighter side, bordering on the flimsy end of the spectrum. While it's constructed from a lightweight plastic that may feel inexpensive to the touch, don't be quick to dismiss it. Despite this, the YZ87 still manages to uphold a sense of quality. The case exhibits a noticeable degree of flex, which may or may not be a significant factor depending on your preferences and priorities. The YZ87 boasts a gasket mounting system, enhancing the typing experience with a pleasant bounce to each keystroke. This results in a soft, yet responsive type and feel that typifies its premium performance. The YZ87 offers a sound profile that I found particularly enjoyable. It leans towards the quieter side with beautiful creamy tones. Let's take a quick teaser listen together. Stay tuned for the full sound test later in the video. While the board's construction may give off a cheap impression, I believe you'll find the type and experience to be quite enjoyable. I certainly did. Transitioning to the underside of the keyboard, you'll notice this information sticker positioned in the centre of the case. Amidst the matte finish of the case, you'll notice some shiny stripes, adding a touch of contrast and visual interest. You get four rubber pads in each corner to prevent the keyboard sliding around your desk. Additionally, the board includes a pair of height adjustable feet offering two levels of adjustment. This ensures you can easily find your preferred type and angle without any hassle. Personally, I found the default type and angle to be quite comfortable and enjoyable. Shifting our focus to the rear edge of the keyboard, you'll notice the connectivity options neatly arranged on a contrast silver accent piece. From left to right you'll find the 2.4 GHz dongle, followed by a convenient Mac or Windows operating system toggle, then the USB-C port, and finally the connection mode toggle. This allows you to effortlessly switch between 2.4 GHz, wired, and the Bluetooth connection to suit your preferences. Apart from this, there's this kind of ridge design the rest of the way around the edge. Returning to the top of the YZ87, the first feature that will likely catch your eye is this vibrant RGB light strip. I find this strip to be a cool addition to the top side of the board, a feature that might not be a deal breaker for everyone, but certainly adds a touch of flair for those who enjoy it. However, I must admit Yunzi's decision to incorporate their branding alongside the RGB strips feels a bit detracting from the overall aesthetic. While the branding is relatively small, I believe many users would have preferred a cleaner, logo-free top side. Let's refocus our attention on the badges included in the box. If you're willing to forgo your print, scroll and pause keys, feel free to remove them alongside their corresponding switches. You have the option to choose between a terminal design or a great wave design. I personally prefer the Great Wave. I believe this play adds a significant amount of character to the board. Personally, since I don't typically use the keys in its place, it was a sacrifice I was more than willing to make. Let's now shift our focus to the keycaps. The YZ87 comes equipped with Yunzi's own double shot cherry profile keycaps. I'm not entirely certain if these keycaps are available for individual purchase, but feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. They appear to be the same keycaps featured on Yunzi's AL66 as well. Check out that review linked in the card above. I would place them quite central on the keycap thickness scale. Overall, I'm quite impressed with the aesthetic appeal of these keycaps. As mentioned earlier, they really shine when paired with the white case of the YZ87. Diving deeper into the details, the YZ87 comes equipped with Yunzi's proprietary milk switches. They're a pre-lubed three-pin linear switch requiring an operating force of 45 grams, placing them on the mid to light end of the force spectrum. They're made up of a nylon bottom housing, polycarbonate top housing, and MX style stem. These switches provide a relatively low sound level and offer a creamy feel and sound that I absolutely love. If, however, these switches don't happen to suit your preferences, fear not. The board is five 
five pin hot swappable, allowing you to easily swap them out for a set of switches that better align with your tastes. Yunzi offers a comprehensive suite of software for many of their keyboards, and the YZ87 is no exception. It's worth noting that this software is only compatible with Windows operating systems, however Yunzi claims that changes made within one software will carry across operating systems. With this software, you should be allowed to remap keys, create macros, and choose between lighting presets. I do want to point out that one of the times I was using the software, it lacked any labels or clear instructions, rendering it completely unusable for me. I reset my PC, and then it worked again. I was impressed by Yunzi's inclusion of a 5000 mAh battery in this unit. Yunzi rates the battery life for 25 hours with the RGB lighting enabled. However, if you opt to disable the RGB lighting, the battery life extends significantly to a whopping 100 hours. When it comes to the RGB lighting, the YZ87 is well equipped, featuring south-facing LEDs, the board offers a total of 19 presets with 8 backlight colours, providing ample customization options to suit your preferences. If gaming is on your agenda with the YZ87, you'll be pleased to know that it comes equipped with N-key rollover and boasts 1000Hz polling rate, ensuring lightning fast responsiveness and optimal performance. To briefly touch on the internals, the YZ87 incorporates 5 layers of foam to effectively dampen the undesirable sounds, an indication of the thoughtful design and attention to detail. As always, it's time to play the sound test before I leave you with my closing remarks and recommendations. So, to wrap up, I thoroughly enjoyed putting this keyboard through its paces. At a price point of just $80, I found the typing experience to be incredibly satisfying thanks to its soft, bouncy feel. The sound profile was music to my ears with its rich, creamy tones. I was thoroughly impressed. I recommend this keyboard to anyone venturing into the realm of custom keyboards, seeking an alternative to the typical big name brands like Razer and the like. Priced at just $80, it serves as an excellent entry point, providing a superior typing experience and enhanced customization ability compared to those mainstream options. That concludes today's review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider subscribing and leaving a like. Your support is greatly appreciated. A huge thanks to Yunzi for providing the products featured in today's video. Rest assured, my thoughts and opinions remain unbiased and unaffected. If you'd like to check out another keyboard in Yunzi's YZ lineup, check out this review of the YZ75. Alternatively, if you'd like to check out another budget entry point into the custom keyboard world, check out this review of the Aula F75.